so here we go for the third act of this drama of rugby that we have for you here in Parma from the Stadio Sergio Lanfranchi. Plenty of green shirts in the crowd. I can only tell you one thing that Ireland are on their way up against a very talented French side. Should be a very entertaining tie, this one. France versus Ireland. Our third match of four for year on the Saturday afternoon here in Italy. Both sides make their way out onto the field, ready ahead of the Athens. So here we go then. What should be a very entertaining tie between two sides that could be fighting it out for Six Nations at senior level over the many years to come. This is the Irish under 18 side named by Neil Doak, their coach from all provinces of Ireland. They start Conor McGee, Brake McLean. Hooker and tight head, both from Ulster. Eight, nine, and ten from Leinster and Dylan McNeese, James O'Dwyer, and Tom Wood. Dominic O'Connell from Connacht. James O'Leary from Munster. So it should be an, an excellent team that we will see. The France under 18 side, again, a cavalcade of talent coming from Toulon, Stade Francais, Toulouse, Brive, Lyon, Montfernon. Popignon, all across the cantons of France, and what should be an excellent tie. Top one to call this one. Why? Sit back, relax, and strap yourself in for what should be a very entertaining ride. I can't call this. Rob McDowell is our man in the middle. We will have to.
as it will be, Tom Wood of St. Munchen's College and Munster Rugby who gets us underway. Elijah Absieni. This is Malvernates. Picked up by Baptiste Tilou. Alessio Malier. Tulo of Avignon. Agree. Put himself in trouble. San France. No Win the first penalty of the game. Must wrap. Number three. But played clean the guilty three. penalty. No arms tackle. For Ireland. Robert Dell from the Scottish Rugby Union. There's our man in the middle. That's an excellent kick. Already into the heart of the Irish half. So first test coming up from Ethan Kia of Stade Francais. Already getting the call from his colleague, Samuel Christophe. See, it goes long. Dutrales. Picked up by Absien, who gets inside the Irish 22. Tackle coming in from James O'Leary, but already France up to just shy of the five metre line. Tolle gets the ball out eventually. France looking to start the stronger. Tolle going to his left hand side, uses Christophe with support. Tolles. This time to Lanen. Lanen staying strong and a good offload to Michel. Tolles, excellent start. This just shy. Excellent start from France in the red zone. Here they come. Oh, and they're scoring. Gavin Lacoste into short. But it is the French who get over the line. Samuel Christophe opens the scoring for the French inside three minutes. The player from Toulon. Strong start from yeah. France. Yeah, it's, it's me. I'll tell you. Yeah. Samuel Christophe, player from Toulon, opens the scoring in the third minute of this game. Well, in our previous match, we didn't see a kick go over from Italy. Living a charm life, this particular goal. In that second half. Let's see how Luca Caletona of Brief. In of the post. Still counts though. 7 0. Well, it's a good start from Samuel Christophe and the, the French team. So Ireland need a response immediately. No, lost. Seeking a, a lot a response immediately, but they've already lost possession. Christophe, the try scorer. Tackle. Yes. Lose it. No. Dillos. Box kick. Back off, Blue. Came back, he will pick up and regroup. And he'll go again, and France are off to the races once more. This time for Marvin Rates. Toles has already lost half a shirt. He might need to get another one. And the French may look to go and get another score. Vassal of Avignon. 
Já les? Mama, no name, no number. I think that is Ruben Bagard, number three. Alaya, Abisiani, To Les, Christophe, To Les, Mele, Rassal, this is Rates, Rates, needs help, he's going to get it. Okay, on side, lads. To Les, Misha. Alan on the back foot. Christoph trying to get on the front foot here. Not on the floor, Green. Not on the floor. Let it come. Lost. No, sure ball. Play. Deck up and drive. Release. France 10 metres shy. Teles. Ibisiene. Rassal. Rates. Second score for France. What a start from the French. Only six minutes and change have been played and they're already 12 points to the good. Well, so far for the French, two trips to the 22 have resulted in the maximum reward. What have you got for me? Keep working with those offsides. I think it's need to get a bit wider, do you agree? So already, French under 18 side stamping their authority on this side, and it is going to be Teletona with a little bit of wind in the air. To send France 14 clear. Left of the upright, so just 12 the difference, but it is the Irish with it all to do under the cosh. Yet to find a platform in this tie, it's been all France from the off. The lead 12 now. Back off green. Already wasting a lot of time on the kickoff. France now to try and relent an Irish charge. Trying to get some points on the ball. That's a high tackle, and that's going to be a penalty to Ireland. High tackle. So, Tom Wood to send this one into the 22 to try and find an attacking platform here for the Irish to build on. First test here for Conor McGee of Banbridge Academy and Ulster Rugby. That's a good test indeed. Pass on the flying colours. And it is McGee with the ball in hand as the charge is coming from the Irish as they look to and respond immediately. Five metres out they come. French trying to relent and repel the Irish advance. Dylan McNeese. Three metres out and continuing to drive forward, inches away from the trial line. <laughs> and Ireland responds. Well, I did promise you entertainment. And you're going to get it. Five to twelve. Three tries already. And we've had less than ten minutes. Slotted home beautifully by John Wood. 
So five points to the difference, seven minutes gone. So we continue for the next bit of drama. Well, the way this is going, I can guarantee one thing, our highlights compilers will be very busy during this game. The sense there's going to be plenty more tries to come. Pissed off. Inside pass, little forward. Get stopped. So it will be Ireland put it. Eleven minutes. Already been eaten up by what has been a fast and furious awkward passage to play in this third match of the day here. The Six Nations Under 18 Festival in Parma, Italy. That'll be set. That free kick given. James O'Dwyer. We start with the Irish. This is Charlie Maloney. And this is Josh Gibson, who's full of running, who offloads to Jack Deegan. Ireland inside the French 22. Fast and furious phase of play. Difficult to keep up. Maguire. Wood. O'Dwyer. Penalty advantage coming the Irish way. Free ball to come. A free swing. O'Dwyer. Ball's lost, that will be reset and come back for that earlier infringement. Well, there's some worried faces in the Irish camp at the start, but maybe not anymore. Wood fancies a five meter line out instead of what would be relatively three easy points. And we have an injury to the player on the far side, so we have a, part, a stoppage in play before we reset and go again. Three tries we've seen so far. Samuel Christophe of France opening the scoring, followed by Marvin Latez inside eight minutes. Then a few moments later, Ireland respond. With a try of their own. Lines are marked, okay? Up on the line. Fine. No, you're. you're yeah. 12 to 7. We are at. And now the drive again. The drive again, Sky. The drive is good. The drive is good. Opportunity comes down. Just shy, says our referee. Connor McGee inches away. Catch and drive, they're going again. This time he's been held up. Jamie Conway. It was a nuisance still in that first try. Trying to make himself a nuisance in the second. Time of asking. Find the kicker. Plenty for the French to think about here. The Irish line out, very attacking. And the only way the French are going to respond is with a bit of flair, maybe, of their own. Tolles have still written half the shirt. Michaud. Ball has been turned over. Green ball. O'Dwyer. An advantage being played for J Josh Gibson to inch his way towards the French 22. O'Dwyer. Play it down for Ireland. 
Momoteli down to 14 on this attacking drive. O'Dwyer. And with two players down, you've got a French player down, an Irish player down, and our referee is going to stop play, and Ireland will restart shortly. Well, I did promise you at the time, and I promised you breathless stuff, and okay, it's what it has been this first 15 minutes. Two players receiving a, a treatment. One Irish player and one French player. How did you? Yeah. Let's just make sure that we're keeping the time again. Yeah. Sides will be keen to see their attacking platforms seem to be working. French not afraid to run the ball. The Irish, there's a penalty in fact, but catch and drive. So they did have an advantage, did Ireland before the stoppage in play. So there will be line out green ball inside the French 22. But oh, Jimmy give me another catch and drive. Well a little bit out this time though. 10-15 meters out from the French try line. Going long and that's not straight. Opportunity to relieve the pressure of the scrum of their own. Penalty France. Excellent kick. Excellent kick from the French. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely thrilled with that one. Tia of Safonse. Games with his instructions from Samuel Christophe. Picked up by Abusiene. Teles. Christophe. Rates. Dances his very way inside the Irish 22. Teles. Remy Lenin. Teles. Cross field kick. Caledona, good take. Offload is good to Rassan. Five metres out, French penalty on its way. Tolles. Pissed up. Stays inside the field and they continue to come the French this time through. Abyssiene. Tolles. Cross field kick again, this time on the far side. Picked up by Rates who seeks a second try. Rates, great offload that was. 
to Mazzulo or to lose. Rates unselfish. We knew he was had a green shirt on top of him under pressure, and the offload was excellent to Marcel Mazzulo or to lose. France go ten clear. What did you say? Mates, unselfish. And James O'Dwyer, ready for the tackle. Came a dolly pass to Marcel Marzullo, who didn't flop his lines. 10 clear, just to go 12. Right of the upright this time. It's 10 the difference. 15 to go in this first half. first half. 15 the difference. Let's go. How many? Yeah. Ipsiani. Nisho. Tales. Curry. Of Ireland. Dwyer, Wood, Dwyer, Alan moves up. Let's go. How many? Let's speed this up. Let's speed this up. Let's speed this up. Hurry. Five. Yeah. Goes long. Goes lost. Goes the Irish way and picked up by Conor McGee. Goes on a dart in one of his own. O'Dwyer. Conway. No. Penalty. Michel, the guilty party. There's a couple of times in this game he's done that. A referee, Robert Dowell, will be keeping an eye on Liam Michel or Montferno. Being Quentin Valentino of Dan Nishwa. Just drop it. Yeah. 
Inside pass to Conor McGee. Can't be stopped by Abyssinia of France. Driving forward, ball's lost or ball knocked forward. France will have the foot in and they're delighted about it. to go. Hold. Ten the difference. France relieving the pressure. Sending that one into the stands. Frantic line. On the line. Oh. Yeah, that's you. Good. Let's, see. Let's go. from the touchline. Well, one or two cries from the crowd saying that wasn't straight and they may have had a case. Last ball's been knocked forward so maybe, just maybe, the rugby gods made sure that was actually correct. And so France have possession. Tales chip forward. Taken easily. By Josh Gibson. But back there I'm going to come for earlier infringement. Ten minutes to go. Three tries scored by France to Ireland's one. Yeah. Yeah, much better last time. win the square picked up by Jali Minot just off another player who's had a shirt ripped Michel gains four or five meters for that little drive of his own Calisona Goes nowhere, tap and go, taken quickly by the Frenchman and already advances his way into the Irish 22. Tolles, quick ball here from the French. Lanen, Christophe. Plenty of options to the right hand side, they continue to go left. Patience by Mazzullo, the third try scorer for France. Bagard. Christoph continues to drive. Offside advantage coming the French way, so a free ball coming here. And that's entirely what they're going to do. Entirely what they're going to do. Ireland collect, but back they come for a penalty. Blake McLean is the guilty party for the Irish. Options here for the French, right under the posts, but they've got Ireland where they want them, on their own try line. Tap and go, scrum, line out, all options available here. Tolles is the man with the ball in hand, that tells me, tap and go maybe the option here. 
It's up and go indeed. Lenen. Knock on advantage. Ireland breathe again. Opportunity missed for the French to add to their tally of 17. Three points right in front of them instead. No score. Let's have a bit of a gap. Here's a mark. Rob McDowell, our referee from Scotland. Having a bit of fun with the above the front rows. He's saying, come on, let's have a bit of a gap. Ten points of the difference. Penalty Ireland. An opportunity to relieve that pressure that France have instilled on them in the past few minutes. France inside the 22. No reward. Territory gained either. Okay, if he goes down, I agree. Keep one, keep one square. Okay, I'll look after him. Good. Five to go. McGee doesn't find his man. Goes to a blue shirt in his shop of France. Goes to ground, but it will be Ireland who get the put in. At least you can advance. We'll get entered from that and may have hurt his shoulder in the process. Four and a half minutes left to go. Just a rough indicator our clock in the top left hand corner of your screen. You go on the please whistle. He's already yeah. set the time off. Straight. Yeah. Good, good, good on the first three. That one just. Angle. Our referee, Rob McDowell from Scotland, just explained to Samuel Christophe be careful next time on the scrum. Wasn't too happy with yeah, his efforts on the previous occasion. All good. Time off. Four minutes, yeah. Four minutes to go. Five to mark. Okay, water off. Five to mark. Scrum for the French. Send it Ireland backwards. McGee. No, no. Carried back. Tom Wood sends it high into the sky. Awkward take. But taken nonetheless. France have possession to less. Bagar. To less. Caledona sends this one just over the halfway line. But it's been taken, and France look to add to their tally. They're in trouble once again, the Irish inside the 22. An advantage to be played here. 
but the France looking for maximum reward, and they're going to get it this time for a second try for Malvin Matez of Grenoble. They didn't pick up any reward last time they were in the Irish 22. They do this time, fourth try of this first half for France. Two for Marvin Natez of Grenoble. France up by 15. I have time. After this 90. The advantage has already been played. Ireland would have been given away a penalty anyway, but Ratez capitalises his second score of the first half. Ireland up by 15, opportunities for a conversion to come. Eaten of all the rest of the seconds of this first half. From the conversion, that will give us a French lead at the break. This time drilled into the heart. And it is. France lead by 17 at the break. Four tries to one that we have seen French flair on show in Parma. Been just too good in this first half. The Irish have been trying to show with their defensive qualities how dangerous they can be inside the French 22, especially with their line-out game, but it's only yielded one try so far. French flair, running rugby, seems to be the way forward in this game. And it's a difference of 17 at the break. At half-time, it is Ireland 7, France 24. Well, let's show what we've seen so far. This was inside three minutes, in fact. First score by Samuel Kostov. After just three minutes. Try five minutes later. Marvin Natez, his first one of two he scored in this half. Then Goal for the Irish from a catch and drive. James Conway. The scorer for Ireland. Lost his headband in the process, but he won't care. Got on the score sheet. Then, Marcel Mazzulo from a free play. Vates, who has been magnificent in this first half, unselfish to offload to Marzullo, the Toulouse native, scoring France's third try. And then the fourth try. The 
run from Jali Minot. Picked up. And Melvin Matez to collect. He scored in the corner. On his second try, and Francis Ford. So then, at the break, Ireland are the ones chasing. It also do. They trail France by seven points to 24.
Time to go again. We saw a remarkable response from Italy in our previous game when they were nine points down at half time and then just went from neutral to fifth gear very quickly. He sent Ireland to do the same here. Well, this game could run away from them. They're 17 down. Dwyer. Conor McGee. Taken quickly by Lacoste. Thales. Christophe. Tellez. Gap tries to be fined and put try and put Irish fall back under some pressure and the pressure was instilled and it's gifted France a line out just shy of the Irish 22. Josh Gibson being put under pressure. See the man at the back of the pack driving this one forward. Tolesh asking for it, but instead the drive continues to reap yards for France and they win a penalty from it. The exact start they would have been looking for as they continue to drive forward. Just shy now of the Irish five metre line. Tolesh picks up. Valentino, three metres away. No more advantage to be gained there. Back to the penalty they go. Receiving some treatment. It is a scrum half in fact, Baptiste Deleuze of Avion. French way. Realistically, they could really put this game to bed right now if they get the first score here. That's a bit of ball, which might help in playing a game of rugby football. <laughs> Still, we can't find the ball. Is anybody around with the ball, please? Can we have our ball back? There we go. Ethan Chia. Gustave Francais finds the man, finds MSNA. Good tackle there for Josh Gibson. For France, smelling the try line, sniffing out a fifth try. To Les, Christophe. Good tackle, excellent tackle to stop the French advance. But for how long? Toles seeks out Lanen. Lanen with help from Samuel Christophe. <laughs> Penalty Island. Relief for Ireland. Now to try and find an attacking platform. When they get inside the French 22, they have been dangerous of Ireland, so don't write them off just yet. Come in. 
Make sure we set. McGee. Zigzags. O'Connell. Hayes. O'Dwyer. O'Connell. O'Dwyer. 50-22 is on and heads up well by Mino. High into the sky. 11. Six at number 11. For Ireland, Josh Gibson. Charge down. Trouble. Picked up by Valentino. This is Malay. Thunder assists from Absiene. And this is Valentino again. Valentino to Perez. And that is Mazzuo. And that is a wonderful try. All from a charge down on the halfway line. Diego, just have a word with Ireland about late tackles, OK? Late makes sure their tackle timing's OK. In front, yeah, anywhere in front. Well, you can hear what the referee is saying. It's one of the various players about late tackles. We're all, this all came from a charge down on the halfway line. Excellent offload from Valentino to Tales and then to Marzullo. Second try for the Toulouse player. 22 the difference, half hour to play. Galatona, easy conversion, three out of five today from the team, 24 the difference now. forward yeah. when you hear stop stop okay okay panel stop stop number one stop no 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 mister 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 you saying stop the no 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 stop ah stop okay. <laughs> miscommunication from Samuel Joseph with our referee yeah. Speak very okay. <laughs> to the bench to be replaced. First try scorer for France. See 40 minutes of this game. French put in at the scrum. Going Ireland's way, is it? Manchester coming against Italy and Portugal for the rest of this Six Nations Festival. Not writing them off just yet, but it just seems that the lay of the land is not going okay. away. Just hold. The attack of the Irish team right now. Changes being made for France. Baptiste. Yeah, Vichon Bear. And Montferrand. Now on the field. Relax, relax, relax. Five tries to one, the score in this game. This player receiving some treatment. Just for the cut, it seems. Thanks, guys. I'm not speaking, I think. 
The Irish fans have been quiet in the stand. No doubt we'll be enjoying their week here in Italy. Final match takes place next Sunday. So a week in Italian heartlands. Learn to enjoy. Bichon Bear. Toles. Malay. Tia. Ipsiani. Tales. Vishon Cheap little pass backwards, but cracked up by Kutria. Tales. France. Lose out on possession on this occasion. Knock on. No reward on this time. And you can hear the Irish number two, Conor McGee, saying, Come on, lads, we need to get a score. 24 points down. It does make things a little bit interesting if they can find a score in the next few minutes. Very good. See you again. Sorry, the island. Opportunity for either to okay. something, something to build on here. Fourteen and six. Cease. They've been closed out by a very relentless, ruthless French side. Thirteen or fourteen. As they continue to make some changes. Adrian Drual. On the field now for the French. Taking the place of Alessio Melier. Come on. Advantage, knock on advantage going the French way. Everything's going their way for the team in blue. Tales. Valentino. Trouble here for Ireland. Kelatona. This is Clement Paul just coming onto the field. Teles. Bagard. Just found a number for this year. Bonard. Teles. Bagard. Loose for Drouat, but stay strong. And now sends France only a metre short. Toles. Coutier. Bonard. Bonard is he over? Oh, maybe it's been held up. And he has been indeed. No reward this time for France. Leap for Ireland, it must be said. We really have been under the cosh in the second half. We don't have the territory statistics, but I can't recall more than a minute or so, if any, time that the ball has been in the French half. We know. Chip and chase. Never changed. 
picked up. Knock on advantage, and again, it's all going the way of France. Tom Wood, the guilty party this time, and they will have a scrum on the Irish 22. Fashion rugby, and that's the way we like it. Jump in, leave the field. And on to Ireland Bowers as well. France. Tellez takes quick. Loose pass and the jump bumped into each other now the French and that's... Okay? He's okay, I think. Gabby Lacoste to breathe. No, the bounce has been hard. They're scrambling on. Yeah, 15's just getting checked. And the cost just bumping into each other. And our referee Robert Dowell right on the spot there. Make sure both players are okay. Here they are. Beautiful, brilliant, relentless. Sixth try, Jali Minot of Lyon. This time the score at France put an island to the sword. Inside pass from Gellert Fiona. We know he's worked hard today. Well deserved. Thirty-six to seven. Conversions can make it thirty-eight seven. You've got to feel some sympathy for Ireland in the, in this in the second half, especially they have They've had it been under the cosh completely. Much like our previous game, Italy v Portugal, but Italy were behind at half time and then got through the gears. France have got into the second, third gear in the first half and now they've just gone into fifth. And just leaving Ireland in their wake. 29 the difference, 17 minutes left to play. Inside. Charlie Maloney. I think for Ireland now is all trying to be all about trying to make the score respectable. And trying to get some confidence. And some momentum to build on ahead of the two matches against Italy on Wednesday and Portugal next Sunday. Slap. 
Penalty to Ireland. Chance just to breathe again, as it were. Luke McLaughlin. No one hooker duty. O'Dwyer. It's advantage, late tackle. Late tackle advantage to be played. So it's going to go Ireland ball. 19. 19 off the ball. Romeo Matthew Bernard to lose. Just with the late tackle. So. Opportunity for Ireland to get inside the French 22 here. And they will do. Discipline, please. Mercy. something for them to build on. One to the island players saying that it was out and the Dutch Strip now has the flag up to say yes it was in touch. Took his time about it. But will be Ireland now with an attacking platform inside the French 22. Long. It works. Bill Hayes. Dwyer. Dwyer again. This time to Ethan Black of Leinster. Dwyer. McLaughlin. Chance for Ireland to test the French defence. O'Dwyer, ball lost. Knocked on. Advantage being played here, but it is in the possession of the team in blue. And now they're going to have a run from the long 22. And here we go again. We've seen this time and time again today. It's put Ireland under pressure. And they will have the ball inside the island half. Just over 10 minutes left to play in this tie. 29 the difference. Hands off, hands off. You've got injury. Injury to the player, so. Maybe just time off. It's great, Barry. Come on, test me, he wasn't. <laughs> Quiet day for them fans. <laughs> Happy day for the French fans. One or two French tricolours in the crowd. to sack it. Illegally.
Maybe the batteries have gone. A couple of changes being made for Ireland. 18 and 21 coming onto the field. That is uh, Kean Walsh and Chris Barrett, both of CBC York and Munster Rugby. Lineups inside the Irish 22. Looking to cement this victory, but they can't do it on this occasion. Scrum down. One more match to come for you on this Saturday afternoon, and it's going to be. Two old enemies taking up arms against each other. England versus Wales. Always entertaining. That kicks off in one hour from now. So stick around for that one. Chris Barrett with Punty for Ireland. Ireland now seeking a consolation score. Hold, 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 set. Good. With eight minutes on the clock. Hold five. On me, lad. Numbers. Numbers, lad. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. who's had a good game for France. Alessia Adi. That's a forward pass. I'm pretty sure they could sell that one from Sampadoria, never mind Palmer, that was a forward pass. It's coming out of them. Another problem with the ref mic again, so a little bit of a delay here. Five and seven for a blue. Tom Wood and Maguire of Ireland leaving the field. to go and no doubt these fans in Ireland who are in a beautiful part of the world if you've never been to this part of Italy, northern Italy, just a few miles away from Florence, Pisa, Milan, Verona, as you know, right in the middle of those five cities in fact. Oh, sorry. Ireland seek a consolation score here in northern Italy. Alessia Adri. 
Coach, the Dan Embers now of this Tackler. third game of the day. A French victory is going to be confirmed very shortly in the next five minutes or so. That is for certain. The question is, though, by how much can Ireland finally find a consolation score or a France really good? Going to put the coup de grace on this game. Valentino. Malier. Mino. Second try. And that is the coup de grace. That is the seventh try for France. Jali Mino of Lyon. Handshakes galore from his side. And this has been a magnificent performance. Marzulo Mino Rates. Two tries apiece. They have been the French connection today. Well, if this was a boxing match, you may be calling a time right now. And the talent might be going in. 40 seconds. You could feel for Ireland. You really were. The first 10 minutes of this game, we thought there was a real battle that was going to be on our hands here. But the French have just sapped them of energy, possession, and territory. And has given them seven tries. The backs have been explosive. The forward's too strong. And France lead now by 38. Well, for Neil Doak and his side, a day or two off the field. Maybe a chance to just take a break from what's happened here today with the game against Italy on Wednesday to come and then Portugal next Sunday. Crossfield kick, can Ireland find a consolation score? Mark's been caught. Come on. And Robert Dahl, our referees, laughed at that one. I thought Gavin Kretschmann of Perpignan was a little bit too eager. One last hurrah for the Irish. Barrett. We played here for the French, who are now seeking a half century. Not too quiet in the crowd for a high tackle, and I think our referee agreed with them. Someone, 26 and 24 coming up in the last minute. That's Michael Walsh of Black Rock College, Leinster. Oh, just and Ryan O'Fowley of same college, Black Rock College. And Leinster Rugby. Six. And the last few seconds of this game. Six, Six sub. He's off. Everyone off. Time on. Couturier. Absiene. 
pitch, rolling. Penalty advantage to come for the French. Just shy the half century now in sight. Briash. Alan sending them backwards momentarily. Get out. Alice the yard. Into the corner they come. Into the corner it goes. And that is Dylan Kazmajou with France's eighth try of the game. Half century broken. Too strong, too good. I can't hear. Yeah. Time in the red on our graphic. We go on the referee's watch. May suggest there might be a, a moment or two still left to go in this game. But regardless, the French will be delighted. Georgia to come on Wednesday, followed by Wales next Sunday, their next two games. But they will be a tough nut to crack for any of those two sides on the back of this performance. Why did the upright for Quentin Valentino? <laughs> Ireland 7, France 50. A few more seconds left to go in this game. France maybe, it's trying to seek another. Okay. Option. Scrum line and they're going to have an option of a scrum on the halfway line. Two. Two. Two more minutes, come to our referee's watch. is on, on the bounce, Inside. sent back downfield. No, you're on. on the halfway line. French will have one last line out here. Try and give him a 50 point Let's victory. Come on, speed it up. Roman Dowell asking the French to go on with it. Alan are ready. Stolen by Alan the Planet. Picked up by Mia. What's up, by? The Champagne and Clement Paul taking the Irish man down. Easy, easy. Picked up by Chris Barrett. Barrett. Intercepted, knocked on. And referee has a look at his watch and says we'll have time for one more screen. Watch it. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it time. Last play. Last play. 
So last opportunity here for Ireland and Chris Barnett with the ball in hand to find a consolation score. Barnett. Jack Deegan. Barrett. Bill Hayes. No! Barrett. Max Doyle goes to the ground. Maybe a hint of a forward pass there during that, but Alan won't mind. They still have possession, just shy of the French 22. Barrett. Gaps opening up there for the Irish to find a second score. To give a little bit of confidence at the end of this contest. And both the knock forward and Rob McDowell will call an end to this game as soon as this ball goes out of play. And it's just been knocked forward, in fact, and that will be that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tries to France, to Ireland's one. A 43 point defeat in the end. This game was in the balance after 10 minutes, and then the scales tipped only one way the French way. Marcel Muzello, two tries. Jali Minot, two tries. Melvin Latez in the first half, two tries. Then three with the French connection to deliver this victory. A comprehensive victory of 50 points to seven against Arbor. So we are 45 minutes away from our final game of the day, which is going to be England versus Wales. That will be a barn buster, that is for sure. But it is the French who took the it's here. Taking this one by 43 points, 50 points to seven.